What's up, nerds? This is the 100 subscriber video. As promised, I did a room tour here. Uh, first things first, don't want to get too, too wordy, um, but I want to thank everybody for subscribing. No matter how big, how small, uh, every little bit has helped. And uh, I really appreciate everybody out there. I, I genuinely do. I honestly didn't ever think that a hundred people would even want to see what I had to do. You know, I, I, I try to keep the production value of all my videos very high, as least as high as I can make them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, to lighten the mood, here is the room tour I promised. Uh, we're going to do a before and an after because I moved my computer to under my desk to help negate some fan noise and so far it is helping. Uh, you can probably hear it now because it's quite warm in here today. So without further ado, we have the room. Okay, as I stated, this is a before and after. Uh, right now we are looking at a before picture. Everything is just kind of all over the place and an all around mess. The lights are facing the wrong way. The computer's still on the desk. And we're gonna go ahead and get this moving. Okay, starting off here, we are looking at an AeroCool Strike XST Black Edition Full Tower Case. Uh, this case is a full tower. It's very roomy, very nice to work in. Uh, if you need to replace any cars, any parts or peripherals, um, you just open it up, and there is an ungodly amount of room to work with here. Okay, and the motherboard that is powering this puppy is an Asus Sabertooth Z77 motherboard. It is hosting a Intel i7-3770K processor which is all cooled by a Thermaltic Big Water 2.0 water cooling system and for the RAM here I went with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM at the time I built this box this was the top of the line that you could get so that's what I was going for that's what I got now here we have my pride and joy the EVGA GeForce GTX 690 4 gig video card. Uh, this is a dual GPU card that I bought at the time was the top of the top. Um, this was the thousand dollar card that GeForce had to offer or that Nvidia, excuse me. Um, this thing today, today standards will still run anything at ultra ultra graphics. Uh, the only thing that I'm really running into with it now is it's just starting to show its age with current games and recording anything at 1080p 60 frames is starting to to give it a little bit of a run for its money but all in all this is a very good card I would recommend it still for anyone and yeah now for the setup I went with your standard solid state boot drive um, 7200 rpm storage drive that's massively huge um, I went with 128 gig solid state in hindsight I wish I would have went with a 256 or a 512 but again at the time I was saying well this will be just my boot nothing else now yeah I, I wish I would have went with a bigger drive but this drive still kicks ass takes names my main mic for recording is a blue snowball uh, I read everything online and this is kinda your starter mic that basically is good quality for inexpensive pricing. The camera that you see in the background there, now zooming in, is a Logitech C920. Uh, even on today's standards, this is still a very good webcam. Uh, that's what I do all my live streams with, and it'll do 1080p at 30 frames a second, which for a live stream, that's plenty okay for me. 
The lights that I use here are the Limo Studio 2 18 watt LED photography tabletop photo studio lights. Yes, I did just read that, but basically they're just two really, really bright lights that light everything up. They light up the entire room here. Um, I mainly like them because they are like a pure white instead of like a like a sepia white or you know from what your normal light bulbs look like. Um, they look good. I like them. They're bright. I got nothing else to complain about. And while we're reading stuff, the monitors that I have here are Asus VS247H P 24 inch full HD LED monitors um, because I am not a robot and I don't remember everything. Basically, these are 24 inch LED monitors. They're light, they're mounted on the wall. They have, I think, a one millisecond response time, which, you know, again, you can't really beat. As you can see here, I'm playing a, a little Overwatch, and they look good. So all in all here, here's the final layout. Um, yes, I know the wires look still to be a mess, and I'm going to get them cleaned up. Uh, yeah, don't knock the Elsa and Anna Frozen Cup as my little tripod booster. It works. But, um, yep, as of the recording here, we have 103 subscribers. And you'll see my Throwback Thursday video, which will be posted at the time already uh, when this is posted. And yeah, so uh, the keyboard I have there is a Logitech G15 keyboard. It's a programmable keyboard that has 18 programmable keys on the side, three different banks, different settings for each game, as well as a little LCD screen that I can use to give me computer stats, stuff like that, as well as... Uh, you see the mouse that I did the review on earlier. Um, I'm still using it. I like it. I'm happy with it. It was cheap, and it does the trick. So there you have it, guys. I let you in a little glimpse of my life, and mainly just how I record games. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this one in, because uh, this is about take 35 of this outro. Um, but basically, look, the end of it is thank you for our 100 subscribers. Shush, shush, shush. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. And we're on the road to 200. Let's get there and see what kind of crazy stuff you can make me do next. So I will catch you in the next video.